guys welcome back to my channel as you can see i'm in the car but in a minute i am going to show you the tour of the finished house if you're confused or you've not watched my videos before or you've not seen the particular one where i spoke about this i have invested in a flat which is actually being moved into tomorrow by a tenant basically me and my dad and also my dad's friend mainly those two i will give them all credit due have basically done a little renovation it's not like a huge transformation before and after um like some properties are like for example my sister and her husband are completely renovating they're almost finished now but like their transformations are ridiculous this one is not so much of a shock um and if you have watched the last tour then you might even think there's not much difference and to be honest there's not the work the house didn't need like s that much work to be honest but it's just had a massive spruce um and hopefully you can notice the difference the main difference is the bathroom that has been completely ripped out and basically it's just a brand new bathroom other than that i'm gonna walk you through and show you the whole house in as much detail as possible tell you everything that we've done to it and also i'm going to include as many before and after photos as possible and i think i might have the odd bit of footage here and there that i'm going to insert yeah i just wanted to make this video because i'm sure people are like me and nosy um, and i've had a lot of people asking for updates on the house so i thought i would just do an updated video because after today i'm not going to be there because obviously there's going to be people living there um and that's kind of like the end of this chapter of content because yeah it was basically a really short term of having the keys and getting our hands on it and now we just hand it over thank you very much for all of the love on it though um and the the really nice messages that i've received i've really appreciated it also i've just um been out to cut some more keys been on lots of key cutting jobs and i just picked up this from tesco iced coffee and they actually do an oat one from jimmy's because a lot of the iced coffees that you buy in the shops um aren't dairy free so i found this today and it's actually really good i'm gonna head inside now um excuse the state of me we have been deep deep cleaning um today yesterday the day before basically all last week and yeah it's spotless if i do say so myself hope you guys enjoy please subscribe if you're new or you haven't subscribed yet and like this video comment down below any other videos that you want to see from me and let's get into the house tour okay we are in the house I'm filming on my own today. Um, my dad is has just left and he did offer to help, but I said it's okay, he's been here all day and pretty much here every day for like the last six weeks or something. So I'm gonna do it on my own. Hopefully it's gonna turn out okay. So I'm stood right up against the front door. This is what it looks like. And if you haven't watched the last video, then to be honest, you probably don't need to because I am gonna insert as many photos as possible but yeah, if you want a full vision of what it looked like the day I got the keys compared to the day that we're leaving it ready for the tenant, then I'll link it down below. First off, we gave this a good old scrub and it's come up brand new. To be honest, everything was left kind of dirty. This is what you see as you come in. And the first thing that you might notice if you remember is that the stairs did not have a banister at all. There was nothing here to protect you from falling off the stairs when you run up and down, which was, yeah, kind of scary and unsafe. But my dad and his friend very cleverly, I'll show you upstairs when I go up there, um, built this banister from scratch. So, yeah. I will try and find out the company that they used because I know that they actually ordered like specific wood um, that was meant for this banister but they did it all themselves and we've left it the oak colour because I think it really fits with the house to be honest. Everything else is quite rustic and the contrast between the white stairs and the wooden banister I think is really cool. Um, so yeah, 
That is the first big, big change down here. Everything has been completely painted. The stairs, again, if you remember, they were filthy. And these are just wooden stairs, but they had a lot of holes in them as well. They have been filled, all of the holes. And then stairs have been completely painted. So again, they look so fresh and really clean. I feel like the camera keeps going in and out of focus. All of the walls have been freshly painted as well. And we've just kept it all really white. So it's really nice and bright and open down here as a blank canvas for the people to do whatever they want. I'm actually gutted. I won't be able to see what they do with it because I think it's such a cool space and I think you can do so much with this. I'm just gonna move my mop out the way. It's the last thing that needs to go. And then just as you come to the bottom of the stairs, there's a little cupboard. Again, this has been deep cleaned. Inside here, there is just all of the Wi-Fi and readings and stuff, but of course you can use it for storage. So yeah, that's come up really, really nice and fresh. It's just so much more light and airy in here. Other side of the hall, I feel like, again, you could put some sort of console table here. There's a really big radiator and the heating is so good and a lovely big wall, again, all freshly painted. And then I feel like we'll go straight through here. So everything that you can see probably has been repainted. So all of the inside of the door frames, um, the kitchen actually never had a door, which I quite like because it keeps it all nice and open. But yeah, the top has been painted, the glass and everything has been really deep cleaned. And this door has a massive difference to be honest. So before, I'll insert some photos, it was a really like off-white cream color which I didn't hate, but in the setting, it looked kind of unfinished. I don't know, it just didn't really suit the place. And it also didn't have a handle. So my dad has put on new handles to all the doors and I'll bring you in to show you the other side as well, because it's a little bit brighter in here. So yeah, this door is now white and I feel like it makes such a massive difference. And with the handle as well, it was just more of like a swinging door, but this actually sort of shuts it off as a really cozy room. Um, but we've kept the glass in the middle because, I don't know, it's a cool feature. We have the living room. So this room probably doesn't look too different, to be honest, but it has been completely repainted um, and very, very much deep cleaned. So the tenants really liked the shelves when they came to view it. Sorry that it's so echoey, by the way. Um, so we've kept those, but obviously they came off and had a really good scrub and they've been put back onto the freshly painted wall. Um, all the skirtings have been painted, radiators deep cleaned. Again, really nice big radiator. And if this was me living here, I'd probably have a big sofa this side, I think. Yeah, I think I would. Um, and then there's a lovely big shelf up here as well. And a curtain pole at the top. I actually can't remember whether this was here or not because we, uh, we have added a curtain pole upstairs. But yeah, it just really finishes off the room so they can hang whatever they want there. Um, we've left the light because it's a pretty decent lampshade. Obviously, again, that's been really scrubbed because it was just piled with dust. The windows have been deep cleaned. And I just love this room. It lets in so much light, as you can see. And yeah, it's just really nice. And because the weather's been lovely, you can just really appreciate the lighting. And I don't know, it just seems really calming. So yeah, that is the living room. So I've just come back outside. And before I show you the kitchen, I again, just wanted to mention this cupboard door. If you go back to the last video, you'll probably see this was really grubby. So it has been cleaned and had a layer of paint. Actually, I think two layers of paint. And to be honest, like just a bit of white paint makes so much difference. These two doors were not white and now they just blend in so much nicer. So in here, again, um, the cupboard has just been painted, but I mean, it's a storage cupboard, so it's nothing fancy but we've just left all the paint in here. And yeah, it's a really decent sized cupboard. I feel like you can store a lot in here. So yeah, can't go wrong with a little cupboard. Onto the kitchen. So there were a lot of mixed opinions. Oh, he's still here. He can't keep away. 
still working away outside. Um, there were a lot of mixed opinions on the yellow in the kitchen. Some people loved it. Some people were like, I really hope you're gonna change that yellow. But when the tenants viewed the flat, um, they really loved it. So there was absolutely no reason to get rid of it. And I feel like it's really grown on me. I think it's really quirky. And again, it just fits the, the whole theme of the house. It's quite rustic with the shelves and like open displays. I think the last owner had like all of their mugs hanging up. So it's very different to what I would usually sort of lean towards, but yeah, it's definitely grown on me. And yeah, we haven't changed too much in here. Just a really, really deep scrub in all of the drawers, all of the cupboards, and um, the oven has been completely cleaned out. Um, the washing machine, I think there's a new, tap as well well i know there's a new tap the tap was black which matched the um doorknobs but yeah new sparkling clean tap which is really nice and also the blind has come down and had a really deep scrub things like this which is really like i wouldn't really personally pay, pay much attention to but my dad like fix these all into the wall and it just finishes it all off and then over here we've just got a couple more shelves and that is pretty much the kitchen, a nice big fridge freezer, um, which is pretty much brand new as well. Um, so yeah, there wasn't too, too much to do in here other than a deep clean and just some tweaks. Like I think my dad has done um, a bit of like, obviously the finishing bit that I just showed you around the windows. And then also things like, um, Siliconing, siliconing, <laughs> doing a bit of silicon to sort of finish off the tiles. And yeah, we've just left them a little welcome pack and a big book of like instructions and questions I might have of all of the keys. So I'm actually so excited for them. I remember the day when I was waiting for my keys to move out. So yeah, I hope that is helpful to them. Let's go upstairs. I've taken my shoes off because obviously this is all clean. As you come upstairs, this is what you see. So the floor has been freshly painted, all white. And then also the new door handles are on these doors as well. So, and also the doors have been painted too. So this is the master bedroom. And I say that because it's the biggest. This is a new curtain pole which has been put up and there were so many holes um, that was just really messy before. So they have all been filled and painted and that just looks really, really lovely and fresh. And then also the windows have been deep cleaned and can you see what I mean by like the natural lighting that comes in here? It's just so nice. I wish my flat had this much light in. If you watched the last video, you might remember that this room actually had a yellow wall, but the tenants that are about to move in really loved the green, which you'll see in the next room because that room is completely green. And they requested that we painted this wall the same color. So of course we were gonna try and do our best to um, suit their choice, I guess. Um, so yeah, this wall has been painted green and I really love this color. Um, again, I really wanna see what they do with the place, but never mind. Also these doors and this wardrobe, I can't remember if I showed inside but it was like falling apart. And now it looks all fresh again with some fresh shelves, all been painted, all been cleaned. So all ready to move in. Really, really nice, spacious, clean, and just so much fresher. So out into the hallway again. You can see a little bit better the banister um, in the hall. This just seems a lot more safe and obviously looks a lot fresher and nicer. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about the contrast of the wood with the white. I really love it. Um, I think sometimes you can have too much white and it can be quite clinical. So I think this breaks it up a little bit and makes it more homely. Cause obviously the floor's white, the stairs are white, the walls are white. So yeah, we really liked keeping this as the wood. I'm gonna leave the bathroom till last because that is the biggest transformation in the house. And then this is the second bedroom. So this hasn't changed that much other than a deep clean and a really nice fresh layer of paint. But yeah, if you watched the last video, it was already this color. 
this like green deep sagey colour um, which again I love so I'm really glad they wanted to keep it and also match it to the other bedroom um, all the glass has been cleaned we kept the light in here because it's pretty nice the same flooring again repainted and also we kept this cupboard in here because that's what they wanted us to do so we kept it um, and another nice curtain pole has been put up in this room I don't know if the lighting is going to pick that up but yeah, it just sort of finishes it off and helps them out a little bit for their furniture. And then this is the hall this side. Also love how high the ceilings are. I think I mentioned that in the last one, but I don't know, it just seems a lot more roomy and very cool. And in the bathroom is the same. So this is the bathroom reveal. I probably will upload some bits onto Instagram as well because this has just come so far. Um, so first things first, the floor. This floor before was kind of disgusting. Like the, the wooden floor, don't get me wrong, like it wasn't the worst thing in the world, but the way it was done just was not done properly. And it was kind of falling apart. There were gaps, there were holes, it was lifting, it was wet. It was just a bit like, you wouldn't want to stand in there barefoot, which you usually do in the bathroom. So yeah, we've had fresh tiling done by my dad and he definitely deserves the credit. It's been done really, really well. We both went to Tops Tiles and chose these ones out um, because they're really neutral and yeah, we just really like them. So he's done the whole floor and then also like a little skirting of tiles as well, as you can see. And then we added a really nice mirrored um, radiator, towel radiator, like to hang your towels on. But also this just adds a really nice modern touch. And then we did actually keep the cupboard, I think, I, don't, I can't remember where this cupboard was. It was either here or over there, but we've kept it because it was really nice um, storage and it's got like shelves and stuff. And obviously a nice big mirror just opens up the place. And then you've probably noticed there's a big mirror on the back wall, which there wasn't before. Maybe the owners took the last one if there was. Um, but there was just like a really awkwardly placed other cupboard here, which just looked, I don't know, I just would never have put it there. But yeah, this mirror just opens up the place so much more and sort of gives like hotel vibes. Like a lot of hotels have big mirrors like this and yeah just really really fits the space then we just have the toilet and the sink they have been deep cleaned inside and out obviously a brand new toilet seat has been put on as well and then also we've got new taps in the shower and the bath <laughs> sorry the bath and the sink and the shower head as you can see up there um and then the bath Looks so brand new as well. Got a new bath panel. I actually can't remember what was here before. Um, but yeah, this one's brand new. I think there was some finishing touches that my dad has done by extending the tiles down there. And yeah, brand new shower head, brand new taps, and also a brand new shower screen which is so much nicer and fresher. So yeah, that is the bathroom and we've kept the tiles because they're done really, really well and they scrubbed up really nicely. Um, and yeah, this room just looks so much brighter and oh yeah, also new bathroom look. Love it. This room just looks so much bigger and brighter and so much better. This is probably the room to be most proud of. So, yeah, what do you guys think? So that is the tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I really hope I've covered everything that I wanted to say. Um, I always have it in my head and then when I go to film it, I'm like, just goes. So yeah, I tried to cover everything that people have asked and that I wanted to point out and 
say about what we've done here but if i haven't please drop a comment down below or dm me and ask me questions if you want um, and i'll try and answer them i really hope you guys enjoyed as i've said it's nothing like super super majorly different but i wanted to share anyway because I feel like I've documented the whole process, so why not show you the final result? Thank you for watching. I'm really, really warm in here. So I'm gonna go, and yeah, today is the handover day, so I really hope the people that live here have a really nice time here and really enjoy living here. Um, I know I definitely would. It's a really, really cute house. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.